Well, speaking of a yeah. need for answers, I mean, we've we've got this situation going on now in uh, in Dover in Calais, mm. um, where fifteen hundred migrants last night. It was two thousand the night before. Mm. Uh, they storm the channel because their situation is just so desperate mm. to try and get here. I mean, can you imagine you've you've traveled from somewhere in 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 Sahara oh, Africa yes, over yeah. a rickety boat? You've made it as far as France in the channel. Do you honestly think? A few hundred police officers and security yeah. officers at the channel exactly, are going yeah. to stop you sure, from exactly. getting, you know, to the the one main English speaking, English language speaking Absolutely. country. Mm, yeah, yeah, we may be on an island. I'm surprised that most of the more, more of them have not mm. um, have not pirated boats or taken, you know, small local speedboats mm. and, and, mm. and and brought well, people. Across, time, perhaps. Yeah. I guess, but yeah. I mean, we now have four hour plus delays getting to the ferries. It's having mm. a real mm. impact on. Trade. It's gone on for about twenty-one days, apparently. Yeah. You know, they've been stacking on the uh, on the board. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. the thing is, you get so much sort of rubbishy hypocrisy from politicians in relation to this. They, the bottom line is, they don't know what to do. No. They mm. have no idea no, what to no. do. And you get all this stuff about we're beefing up security and we're making it we're making it less attractive to leave such places as Ethiopia and Syria. No, they're not. Mm, mm. <laughs> I mean, you know, the bottom line is if you and your family are at risk, you will do anything yes, in your power yeah, to protect, to your, protect family. your family. They have a clear purpose. With. They know what they want to do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, £7 million pounds in extra security is oh, not going to do anything. Oh, no. And it's not solving the problem. I mean, when we're picking up these boats... Uh, these people on these rickety boats, we're not bringing them back to the UK. We're putting them, you know, on an island somewhere in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. you know, to get them, you know, saying. Yeah. It, it, but it's not solving the problem. No, it's no, not. no. And the Australian <clears throat> solution doesn't fit us, of course. Really. Oh, you God. Know, they, they, they had they that it's Australian uh, first yeah. thing and yeah, keep yeah. that. Yeah. Well, they, they, well they, they also throw them in, what was it, New Guinea? Yeah, you know, it, oh, yes, it's just a yeah. horrible yeah. prison camp. -like I situation. mean, for them, it's uh, seemingly working. But I mean, if we've taken advice, haven't we, of the. Uh, of uh, Australians, yeah, yeah. How do we beef up? Well, well, we don't have the islands scattered around the UK, do we? <laughs> we are the island. I mean, the, yeah. what should never be lost sight of, it, it seems to me anyway, is the fact these are people. You know, I mean, they are driven to desperate measures and jumping on lorries, sure. dying in many cases. And so there was a one the other day that died on the wheels of a truck, and people will take desperate measures to protect themselves and protect their families and you know it just exposes to me the rubbish and the awfulness of our politicians because they a they don't know mm. what to do and b they're trying to con us with this sort of language mm. you know beefing up security and making it less attractive <clears throat> in syria and places nonsense i think is. the press mm. and the media have been very good at interviewing uh, them and you know it brings home you yeah. know the, the the personal predicament uh, they're in the the hopeless position uh, they're in uh, yeah. you know they're worried about their families at home they haven't heard from them for a long time uh, you know yeah. they, they, their ambition that the ambition of the families is to come to the UK to become a wage earner and one thing uh, uh, yeah. and another yeah I mean I think to to the credit of my colleagues in mm -hmm. the media mm -hmm. I think it's an area where it has. You know that that level of human suffering yeah, has been exposed sure, yes, by the media, yeah. and it's a very important thing to to hear those stories. You know, mm, yeah. why are these people coming here? And awful, heartrending stories about capsized boats in the Mediterranean and babies being plucked from the arms of their people mothers drowning. and people drowning. Oh, it's just terrible. Terrible. You know, I mean, yeah. and but. <laughs> We've withdrawn funding from a uh, craft to pick up these people because of, we don't want to make it attractive. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's awful. Yes, yeah. We're talking about people's lives here. Mm -hmm.